Hi, I'm Caitlin O'Connell. I'm Peter Friedman. And we're here to talk about Fair Wage on Stage. My story is a little bit different than some of the other ones. Most of my career was spent in regional theater where I made a good salary and a good living and was lucky enough to be um, a member of uh, a couple companies uh, and several theaters who continued to use me and call me throughout the years. When I got to New York and I was hoping to be able to enter more of the New York theater scene, I found that was impossible because I couldn't afford to stay here for the kind of money that was being offered. So for many years, I uh, got on the road and went out and traveled and did continue to do regional theater. The uh, off-Broadway projects I have been a part of and grateful to have been a part of, I found I've gone into debt every single time. Luckily, I knew that going forward, and so I saved up money to be able to do that. I can't imagine what a person uh, who's raising a family, couples, people out of school, I can't imagine how they would do it. I think a fair wage on stage is something that has to be addressed. I know it's a change of uh, thinking for the theaters, but I know they can do it. I know it's there. I know it's possible. And I would think they would want to do that for their artists that they invite into their companies. In my 20s, 30s, 40s, and even 50s, it wasn't uncommon to be without work a year and a half to go that long without a job. It was excruciating. But for the past decade, my work has been almost exclusively in the nonprofit realm. And for the first time, there seems to be a flow going on and flow is the holy grail for us actors right these through these theater companies i've i've uh, found stories i want to tell uh roles i want to play found like-minded artists i wanted to engage with and producing organizations that have shown me the kind of artistic home that i want to be part of at the, the time that i started this phase of my career it coincided with my being eligible to take my actor pensions and was so grateful to find that they covered my monthly nut um, and I was able to work nonprofit and not dip into my savings uh, I eventually realized that the only thing wrong with that picture is that the purpose of pensions is to stockpile and invest for life that's coming down the line I absolutely I absolutely was paying to play. So I'm thankful for, and I stand with, Fair Wage on Stage for making an issue of salaries in the nonprofit arena. It's difficult to bring the notion of hard reality into our universe of pretend, but there it is, folks.